This is a stove that I used camping last weekend. It's a really old stove made by burns o -Matic. And uh, it did okay. I bought this for five bucks at a yard sale. But uh, I've got this other stove. I was on my way out to the chicken house to give that to the chickens. I got this other stove here I'm going to dig out from underneath all this crap and uh, see how it works. It takes up a whole lot less space, a lot lighter, and uh, I might take that with me to the next prepper stock. I'm already getting my stuff together and get prepared because I was terribly ill prepared this time. I'm going to get this out and uh, see if it'll boil coffee because that's the most important thing. And that was quick. That was quick, and this thing ain't even turned up all the way. I got turned back some because, well, hell, I just turned it off. But anyway, it's boiling. And uh, I cut it back some because the flames were coming up around the edge of the pot. Well, this is a little Walmart thing here, man. It wasn't very expensive, and uh, uh, Modoc had one, and he made uh, giant pancakes with it the other day. That was at Prepper Stock, and while I'm doing an equipment review, <laughs> let me tell you about this here. <clears throat> let me turn the light on. This is a, a full-size air mattress made by Ozark Trail, and uh, I got a really bad back, so I had to be careful what I sleep on. And uh, man, I'll tell you what, I was very, very comfortable on this thing. I aired it up really hard because I need a firm mattress and uh, yeah it held my weight and I'm you've seen me I'm a big boy uh, over 300 let's just leave it at that and this thing held my weight and I was very comfortable so uh, I don't know how much I give for it I've had it for a long time and this prepper stock this last weekend was the first time I ever used it but I'm very happy with it now the Ozark trail tent on the other hand leak like a strainer <laughs> and uh, the first night it leaked and all I had was just a little bit of a drizzle and the second night I woke up floating in a bathtub so uh, but anyway this is a good uh, good deal here it was very comfortable so there you have it thanks for watching one more thing and then I'm gonna upload this video this guy here is the uh, Obama wants to appoint this guy to Surgeon General and uh, you can read right here what it says he's not a he's not just a gun control supporter he's a gun control activist and if you're tired of having the government whittle away at our gun rights you have to do something about it you can't just sit there and say how tired you are and then not do anything about it. So, here's a number. Call this number. If you don't know who your state senator is, or congressman, ask them. Tell them what state you're in, and who you need to be connected to. When they answer, tell them how you feel about the Second Amendment, and about this guy being appointed. Uh, you want it opposed. You're a supporter and a voter. And uh, you're a supporter of the Second Amendment and a voter, and uh, your vote will reflect your beliefs. Tell them that. They need to know that. And uh, nothing gets done if you don't do nothing. You get it? I just got off the phone myself, and uh, I talked to uh, Fleming and Vitter, David Vitter. I'm actually, I mean, I didn't speak to them, but I spoke to their offices. And uh, that's what you do, minimum. Write a letter. Uh, you got to do something, though. You can't keep your gun rights. You've got so many people attacking your gun rights that uh, the time to let other people do all the work is over. If you don't throw in, if you're not with us, you're against us. How's that? If you don't do something, you're as good as the people that are trying to take our gun rights. So do something. If, even if it's as simple as making a phone call, let your voice be heard. All right, here we go. I'm going to put this video up. Thanks.